Hi everyone. Continuing with CSWA practice problems, today we'll focus on question 1.3. Let's check out this question. So in this question, same as previous ones, unit of measurement is millimeter gram second. So you need to ensure you have the same setting for your solid works. Now, looking at the geometry, again, it's up to you, but my preference is to focus on the top view. As you can see in the top view, we have a 2D sketch with five dimensions. And then if we have that 2D sketch, we can simply use extruded bus feature to make the final geometry. So let's do that. To do this, we we'll click on a sketch, we click on sketch tab, and then I choose top plane. Now we need four circles according to the 2D geometry. So let's have four circles here. One, two, and then we have one and two. If you look at geometry, it's clear that the center of these circles must be in the same plane. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the center of these circles, hold control, and click on center of the other circles. And now SOLIDWORKS gives us some options on the left side in a relationship tab. What you can choose from here is a horizontal relationship. So once you select that, you see that we have this horizontal line, which is showing that these circles will be always in the same plane. OK, so we are good. Now we start dimensioning it. So diameter of inner circle on the left side should be 20 millimeter. Distance within this circle and the other one should be 6 millimeter. On the right side, diameter of the inner circle should be 6 millimeter. And in a question, you can find the radius of outer circle. We know that diameter is equal to 2 times radius. So that means that we are going to have 2 times 9 equal to 18 millimeter outer diameter. Now, the next step is to define the distance between the centers of these circles. So what I'm going to do is select these two centers, and this distance must be 38. OK, good. So now we have these geometry fully defined. Next step is drawing a line. So I'm going to plot a line from this circle and going to this circle. One thing that you need to consider here is that these lines should be tangent to the circles. This is what you can see from the geometry. So that's why I try to somehow make the line tangent to the circle. So you can see on the left side we have a tangent relationship and on the right side we also have tangent relationship. I do the same things here. So I go from here to here. Let's say you don't have a tangent relationship. What can we do? In that case, you can select the line, hold control, select the left circle, and again from the relationship tab you can use tangent. Okay? Now we repeat the same process for the right circle. We select the line, hold control and then we click on the outer circle and we click on tangent from the left and now we have fully defined geometry as you can see we use every single dimensions on the top view along with these relationships now it's time to use extruded bus okay so let's have another look at our drawing as you can see here, uh, we have a thickness of each extruded bus feature. So on the left side, we have 14 millimeter. On the right side, we have 24. And the overall thickness for the thinnest part should be 6 millimeter. So now we can apply these dimensions into our geometry. Let's do that. So here, in order to do the extrusion, same as before, I click on a feature and I use extruded bus. Now SOLIDWORKS asks me to select the contour that I want. Okay, 
let's start with a 6 millimeter thickness which is kind of consistent everywhere in a geometry and to do that I select this contour I select this contour and I select this contour and the thickness that I want is gonna be 6 millimeter okay we're good that's the first step now we need to make other extruded bus features to do that again you click on extruded bus and you don't need to plot 2d sketch you simply go to model tree you click on bus extrude you click on the previous sketch now that sketch is active now you have the chance to choose whatever contour you want so what I'm gonna do I click on this contour in this time instead of 6 millimeter we want to have 14 millimeter and done okay so the left side is complete now we repeat the process for the other side again you click on extrude boss you go to model tree you select the sketch and this time you're going to choose this contour however you need to be careful uh, the orientation of the arrow is important so I go to direction tab and then I change the orientation and I know that the thickness I want should be 24 millimeter okay and that's it so now we have the geometry that we wanted as a final step we need to check the total volume to make sure that this is a correct geometry so let's check that as you can see the total volume provided to us is 16,268 cubic millimeter so we can check that in our SOLIDWORKS so let's do that to do this you click on evaluate tab you go to mass properties and here you can check the overall volume as you can see the overall volume is 16,267.92 cubic millimeter so we found the correct answer okay so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any question or feedback please leave comment down below thanks again for watching my name is Ruzbe. hope to see you again soon in the next videos